Delta will be looking at ways to provide access to abortion for Metro employees if they ever need it. WSMV's Tosa Fakile is with us now and explains exactly what this resolution does. Well, Marius, first of all, the first thing to know is it's a resolution. Mm -hmm. It's not a bill. So if it does pass, it doesn't become law. It's just another way the council members are going on record to show support for important issues. And the issue this time is access to abortion. So the resolution asks if the Metropolitan Employee Benefit Board could look at current availability of benefits like transportation, accommodation, and other related costs to obtain medical treatment unavailable in Tennessee. The resolution also asked the board to consider if it's possible to extend such coverage if it's not currently provided. Now, Metro's Employee Benefit Board met today for a study session where they looked at what current reproductive benefits are covered by Metro's two self-insured plans. Councilwoman Jenny Welsh, Welsh tells me the resolution exists because she believes all Metro employees should have access to the full range of health care that is available and necessary. So I asked her if the Benefits Board does find a way to provide travel and other costs, can the city afford it? There is always a question of um where you find money for things that you want to do. But I, I can say that when we're talking about spending $1.8 billion to build um, a stadium for men to run around and play a game, I think we'll be able to find the money necessary to guarantee that all of our employees within Metro have access to the health care that they deserve. And Councilwoman, the resolution will go before a rules confirmation committee before it goes to the whole council tonight. Now, Councilwoman thinks it will pass, but probably not unanimously. So how many Metro employees actually use Metro's insurance plan? Well, I'll have that for you coming up at 6 o'clock, Maurice. Controversial issue, Tosa Fakile. Thank you. In five days, a